If we think about the words spoken by the Father to Jesus in Mark's Gospel in the Baptism and in the Transfiguration, we can see similarities and differences. These are two pivotal moments in the life of Jesus, giving us a window into the special relationship that exists between the Father and the Beloved Son. In both these moments, we do not see the Father. We hear a voice, and the voice claims Jesus in a relationship of intimacy as the Beloved Son. In the baptism that precedes the start of Jesus' public ministry, when we hear a word of affirmation, Jesus is the one in whom the Father is well pleased, the one in whom the Father takes delight. In the transfiguration, God claims Jesus once again as the beloved Son. The next words are to the disciples, however, and so too to us, listen to him. The Father does not say, listen to me. He tells us to listen to Jesus, the beloved Son, who knows the heart and the mind of the Father. Jesus has now been teaching and healing for some time. Some have listened, many have not. Those who have listened have usually not fully heard or understood. In our context too, do we really hear what Jesus is saying? Are we listening intently for his direction now, today, in the challenges that we face? If we truly listen to him, we respond by doing what he is asking of us. To listen to him asks us for an openness and responsiveness of heart, to not be so attached to what I think and want that there is no freedom to respond to what I sense him saying to me. All of this starts with asking for the desire to listen and to respond. So today, what might help you to make space to become still enough to really listen to the beloved son? And perhaps to consider what am I attached to that might get in the way of my willingness to let go of my agenda and to really hear him.